Welcome back to The Lead. As President-elect Donald Trump tries to build his inner circle, he's making little to no effort to separate himself from his old circles, that is, his business ties. And the questionable lines of conflict of interest seem to be growing by the day. I want to bring in CNN's Christina Aleshi. So, Christina, Trump does not seem to be just towing the line of conflicts of interest as he defined them during the campaign himself. He, he seems to be setting himself up for crossing these lines wholesale as president. Yeah, Donald Trump doesn't seem to be fretting too much over this topic. And, you know, Jim, that's probably because there are very few laws that actually bar him from running his business even after he takes office. There's one exception, and it has to do with his ties to foreign business people and, by extension, their home countries. Now, over the last week, several incidents are now under the microscope. You place your left hand on the Bay of Bible and raise your right hand and repeat after me. The president is sworn to preserve protect and defend the Constitution. So help me God. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations, Mr. But conflicts of interest between Donald Trump's businesses and his presidency are already sparking talk of a constitutional crisis. The concern is over potential insider dealings, a topic he railed against on the campaign trail. More pay for play. Trump's empire spans the globe, from Canada to the Philippines. Here at Century City, in Trump Tower, Manila, will gloriously rise. To Dubai. You're going to get major, major tournaments here in Dubai. This weekend, new evidence showed that Trump is still clinging to his international business ties. First, three Indian developers appeared in a photo at Trump Tower, standing next to their business partner, the now president elect. According to the New York Times, the executives also met with Eric and Ivanka Trump. On Friday, the Trump International Hotel in D.C. entertained a group of foreign diplomats, marketing the new hotel's exclusive townhouse suite. Cost per night? $20,000. Experts say that creates an unprecedented opportunity for pay to play. Want to get on the president's good side? Some diplomats think that booking a high-end room will do the trick. Finally, the Post reported that since the beginning of his presidential campaign, Donald Trump has launched eight companies in Saudi Arabia, possibly tied to a new hotel. That's only part of a larger international portfolio. Trump's companies do business in 18 countries, according to the Post. Ethics experts question Trump's holdings. Every time that uh, he has an engagement with a friend or a foe internationally in a place where he has uh, an economic interest, the question arises, uh, how are his personal financial interests potentially conflicting with the national interests of the United States? Trump's chief of staff that says that the White family, House will uh, police itself. Him. And I think that while it's unique, it's certainly compliant with the law. And obviously we will comply with all of those laws. And we will have our White House counsel review all of these things. And that White House counsel is going to be very busy. Jim, most of my sources say that lawmakers aren't going to immediate, immediately investigate the conflicts of interest. After all, Republicans control the Congress, so there's no political motivation there. But lawmakers will have to monitor the situation, and so far Trump wants to hand control of his businesses to his children. But in order to completely avoid scrutiny, he's going to have to sell most of his holdings and probably have to start with his international ones. Jim? And there's been no pledge to do that. Christina Lashley, thanks very much.